Welcome back for another week of excitement and mental therapy. Lockdown homeward, March 30th. Before we go ahead, Logan and I, we really would like to congratulate everyone that completed 20.5. We really enjoyed watching your videos and story on Instagram. Uh, don't despair, we've got a few more challenges coming up, so you make sure you just sit tight. Also a reminder that we have moved our Mental Therapy Coffee Club from Friday to Sunday at 11 a.m. Okay, so I really hope to see you there on Sunday. All right, let's get through the warm-up and the workout. Oh, beautiful. The warm-up today is a little bit more dynamic. We will start with 200 meter run. We will then go into 15 rounds or 20 meter drawway shuttle runs. You will have two cones set up 10 meters apart. At the end of each shuttle runs, you will alternate between 10 seconds squat hold and 10 seconds push up hold. Let's go, Logan. Ten seconds squat hold. Back to the shuttle run. And ten seconds push up hold. Today's workout is 10 rounds, starting with a buy-in of 25 up-downs, essentially a burpee, without going with the chest to the ground and without the jump. You will then put your backpack on. You will do 15 squats and 10 backpack push-ups. Once you completed the full 10 rounds, you will buy out with 25 up downs again. So today we're working on a skill, we're working on handstand. Uh, my beginners and intermediate athletes will work roughly for 10 minutes, trying to hold the handstand for 20 seconds and rest for 40. Now with a handstand, don't forget, try to keep your hands slightly wider than shoulder width. Spread out your fingers and try to grip the ground. Now once you're on the wall, the only thing that should be touching it is your heels. So point your toes, you should have a straight line from your hands through your feet. So neutral spine, make sure the butt does not touch the wall. All you want to do is squeeze your butt cheek. Good job, Logan. Now, if you struggle to kick up onto the handstand, you can do a wall walk. So you're standing chest on the ground. Now keep walking back with your feet onto the wall to a comfortable position. And then tuck your head in towards the wall. Exactly the same thing. And then come down. Good job. Now my advanced athlete will practice a free handstand balance today for 10 minutes. Today's tip of the day it is about the squat and how I'm going to improve that bottom position. When you think of your squat, I want you to think of the foundation of a house. Everything starts at the bottom. In this case, for the squats, I'm talking about your ankle mobility. Now, in today's drill, what I want you to do, grab yourself a box or a chair, take off your shoes, you're going to place your foot on the box. Now, when you look at your foot, I want you to think of a tripod, you've got three points front, side, and back with a neutral arch. I want you to keep these points completely attached on the surface. What I'm going to do, I'm going to push my knee forward, just making sure it's gonna track my little toe. Now I did what I can do here as well. I can put my chest on it and apply more pressure. Just make sure the back heel doesn't come up. Now ideally in this routine, what I want to do, I want to do one minute in each side, and I'm going to repeat it three times.